Hey everyone, Percy here. So today I'd like to talk about a brand new distortion plugin from WA Production. It is called Heat2. Um, I say new plugin, which it is, but it is also an updated version of an already existing plugin. Um, anyway, I will leave a link in the description should you be interested. But for now, let's just jump right in and see what this is all about. Okay, so this is what the plugin looks like, but before we jump into the interface, let's just first take a look at a few before and after situations so we can get a little bit of an idea of what this thing is capable of. Okay, now let's take a look at the interface. Now I'd say that the star feature of this plugin is the fact that the audio signal is being split into two um, and then we can apply distortion independently to one of the audio splits or to the other and that of course makes it very versatile. Now um, evidence, first evidence of there being a split we can see up here. So this is the monitoring section. You can see two different curves going on. Uh, and also here in the middle section, you can see two different sections. So the left side and the right side color coded. And uh, they're basically identical. It's just that the left side applies to one of the audio splits. The other side obviously applies to the other. Now let's uh, take a look at what is going on here. So first of all, we can deactivate or activate the uh, distortion. Then here we can choose the distortion type. We actually have 10 different distortion types we can choose from. So from A to J, so we can cycle through here to choose the one we, uh, we prefer. Then here we have the drive, so we can set it to 0% or 100% or obviously anything in between. Then here we have the filter section. So we have an, a high pass filter here and also a low pass filter. And then finally down here we have a kind of makeup uh, gain. And as I mentioned, the right side is exactly identical. And then here uh, we can blend the two together. Now, as you can imagine, because it is a, um, a kind of dual signal uh, interface, you know, the possibilities are really endless. Now, and then down here, we have some global settings. We have the input settings, input gain. Um, then we have the mix, so we can mix between the original signal or the, the distortion. And then finally here, we have the output, which is pretty self-explanatory, I'd say. And that is basically the entire interface. All right, so in conclusion, so what do I think of heat? Do. Now, first of all, I really like the fact that it is a kind of dual um, plug-in, so two independent signal flows in a way, uh, 10 different distortion types to choose from, so that makes it a pretty versatile little plug-in. Uh, the interface looks nice, you know, very clearly laid out, very easy to understand, easy to operate, you know, so all in all, yeah, I'm, I'm really digging this. I think it's a really nice distortion plug-in. So there you have it, that is Heat 2. Again, link is in the description, so go check it out for yourself if you like, and let me know what you think about it, okay? Thanks for watching, and I will talk to you next time.